Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading now for December 4th through December 10th. This is for the sign of Virgo. This is intended to be a love reading, but we will see what comes up and this may not resonate because it's not a private reading. So just take what does and leave the rest. Do apologize for the delay. Um, I got so many private readings in the last couple days that you know, and now they're done within 24 hours, so I have to, when I get them, I have to do them. So, um, yeah, so that's why it's, it's coming right at the end, you know. I will focus this in once I have the cards laid out. Somebody is scared to speak up. Yep. Somebody is afraid to speak their mind. But we're going to focus this in and then we will go over there. Okay, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. This video should not be on anybody else's channel. If it is, then I would ask you to report it and put a little comment underneath that video that they didn't have authorization to use it. Okay, let's get right down to this reading. Um, yeah, somebody is scared. That's all there is to it. You got somebody has fear of speaking up. Okay, I think somebody is feeling withdrawn, feeling cold, very unhappy, but they don't dare to speak up. It's like, you know. And then and the other issue is, is that you feel like you're quitting. Okay, I made this commitment. I promised I was gonna do this, and now I'm like a quitter. You know, that kind of mentality, because this is like feeling like a quitter. But the fact of the matter is, is you really just need to look at it from a new perspective. We all evolve. We all change. Okay? It's just the way it is. It's all about mastering your emotions. Okay? You have to. If you are living in a depressive state, if you are depressed, you are sad, you are crying, it's unhealthy. It's not good for you. And I feel that somebody is feeling very um, hurt. And, it, and I think it's, it's not like a hurt like you've been deceived. It's a hurt like you're the one that's deceiving. You know what I mean? It's like I feel hurt like this is, I'm not doing the right thing. I don't dare to do the right thing for me. That's what I'm talking about. I think somebody doesn't dare to take action in regards to the path that they want to take. Okay? So I think this week is about really contemplating speaking up. I mean, this week, you want to speak up. It's on the tip of your tongue. Okay? It's on the tip. But you just can't spit it out. Okay, and you're growing weary. It's like, <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can pretend. I'm not sure how much longer I can do this. Feels like you're, there's a, something that has reached a dead end and you know it. Okay, there's a dead end here. Change is needed. You know, a change is needed very, very, very badly. It's taking a toll on your soul. Okay, it is. I feel like you have a lot of gentle compassion for others and you want to love unconditionally and you're making some huge sacrifices for everybody but yourself, okay? You're sacrificing yourself for everybody else. You're dreaming. I see the dreams. There's dreams here that things are going to change. Dreams of the future. I'm going to keep working at this. I'm going to keep watering it and nurturing it. And it's going to grow and it's going to get better. But it's not. Okay? It's not. And that's what I see. I mean, that's what the cards say. All right? And along with my intuition. Okay, I feel like you guys have these big dreams of happily ever after, okay, of hopes and wishes being fulfilled and in love, okay. We also, I mean, you, you just want happiness for everybody involved, so you're sacrificing your, your wishes. You're sacrificing your needs for everybody else. 
Um, I feel like this week you're you're still stuck in a situation. There, there's some kind of withdrawal as well, where maybe you're withdrawing from somebody because you have no other choice. We do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it just looks like one phase of your life has reached a dead end. It has. I mean, this is a dead end. It has reached the dead end. Somebody is stuck there. They're too scared, too scared to speak up. That's all there is to it. Just because they, 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 they just are. They're afraid of what's going to happen. Will they be successful? Will I be successful if I speak up? What's going to happen? You know, there's a lot of fear here. This week, there's, there's, the fear is there and it's on the tip of your tongue. Speaking your truth, speaking up, communicating is on the tip of your tongue. Communicating your wishes. Okay? I'm going to start shuffling the next deck. This is for Virgo. It just feels like there's no forward movement because of fear. Fear is blocking a change that you are dreaming about. Okay. So if you are single, I can see that, you know, you, you could be moving forward, but you're not because you're still thinking about somebody from your past. You're still in a, like a little state of depression, despair, anguish. You still have fears of what can happen, even if you're single. If you're coupled, I don't think many of you, I mean, whoever, somebody's watching this. I'm, not, I'm sure it's not for everybody. Somebody is watching this and they're growing really weary as to where they're at and their relationship has reached a dead end or they feel like it's reached a dead end and that something needs to change but then again on the other hand they know something needs to change this person knows that something needs to change and they're trying to change it with all their might okay they're trying to change it but it's not working okay somebody's putting in a lot of effort really you know sacrificing big time and it's not paying off. Things aren't getting better. It's true. You know, you're only deceiving yourself. This is deceit. You're only deceiving yourself by wearing this false mask. Whoever this is for. Somebody's wearing a false mask. And they just can't let it. They can't pull it off out of fear. Fear of what's going to happen in their home. How their home life is going to change. How the kids are going to handle it. How the, how the mother or father is going to handle it. You know, their parents or the family. There's just a fear of the home life changing. What's that going to do? How's it going to impact everybody? And I think that's why that somebody is, is really sacrificing because of the impact. But you know, with that Nine of Cups being reversed, the Nine of Cups is happiness upright. Reversed, it's not happy, okay? Because somebody isn't making a change, because they're letting the fear override, they're remaining unhappy, and it is blocking them from true love, from their soulmate connection, okay? So for, for anybody, I mean, somebody that is watching this, you do have a soulmate, okay? You have a soulmate that is on the horizon. It's in the future. But right now, you're still in a period of conflict, okay? You're still in a situation that isn't resolved yet, you know? There's there's some kind of stalemate. There's a... There's a dilemma in the middle of it where you can't get to your soulmate. And I think a lot of this has to do with taking action. You're not take somebody isn't taking action and because of that they can't reach their soulmate. And it's because of fear. It is. Your soulmate for many of you is he probably a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but I'm really leaning towards Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I think this person really wants to communicate with you. But you you just aren't letting it happen because you're still like having these conflicts in your head. You're having these, you know, conflicting thoughts, okay, back and forth. What should I do? What should I do? And there's a lot of fear. 
a lot of fear. This week is about speaking up. Are you going to do it or not? Are you going to let the fear override? Are you going to leave it at the tip of your tongue and keep sacrificing? That's the question this week. Okay, so I mean, it's, it's completely up to you. This card is on the bottom. Take action. This is the king of action. Hold your head up high, be proud of who you are, and take action. There's no failure here. None. There really isn't. Everybody will be successful in the end. All you need to do is focus. Focus on the truth. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. That's a big deal right here. Speaking the truth. When you speak the truth, your your the ultimate union will come to you. Okay, the first card is let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. Many of you are going through a lot of conflicts right now. You just don't know what to do. You're so scared. So scared. There's probably a lack of passion in one arena of your life and you're dying for it someplace else. And right now things are at a complete halt. Things are at a dead end, and you can't move forward because a change is needed. We do have three twos. I got to tell you what two, two, two means. Faith and trust. Faith and trust in yourself. Be authentic and be yourself. Take the next step. Take the next step. Two, two, two. Take the next step. Have faith and trust in yourself. And it will lead to the ultimate passion and the ultimate love. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Isn't that what you want? Is that what you want? Speak up. If that's what you want. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. If you don't speak up, you are going to be living with this lie until you do. Now I can't remember. You know, I'm going to get you one of my uh, Whispering Woods cards. I think that's what I'm going to do here. I can't remember, it's been a couple days since I've done my weeklies. I've been so busy, so I'm like, shit, what, what, what am I supposed to have now? Um, I've been so busy. I'm still getting them done within 24 hours, though. Oh, this is a good one. Look at that baby. <laughs> I love you guys. Trust. 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 Trust who? Who? Yourself. The robin trusts her wings, not the branch she sits on. <laughs> the beautiful that's perfect that's your card right there that is like I said there's you're gonna be lying to yourself until you speak up that right there is the truth
talk to you later, Virgo. Again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this should not be on anybody else's channel. If I find it on somebody else's channel, channel I will report it to DCMA, and I have worked with DCMA in the past. Talk to you later.